Now that you have an idea what a communication system works, I'm going to give you a model. In this case, I'm going to show you a typical transmission system of an AM radio station. I'm going to look at a transmitter first. And here what I have is a signal generator. A carrier wave which represents the frequency of the radio station and a multiplier which serves as a transmitter. And then I'm going to display these three signals coming out of the signal generator, the carrier wave, and coming out of this multiplier. So what I have here, I'm going to double click on this uh, message generator. And you can see I have an amplitude and a frequency. The frequency is in hertz and I'm generating a sine wave. Also, this code right here or this platform I'm just gonna you'll be is called MATLAB and you'll be using it in many of your courses but for the purpose of this demo I'm just gonna demonstrate what a communication system looks like and what type of waveforms or functions that are generated from what we call MATLAB Simulink okay the tool that I'm using within MATLAB is called Simulink so here's we have the sig signal generator a Y at T, we have an amplitude, waveform, frequency, and time. Okay. Also, we have a carrier, and this is a sinusoid. It also has an amplitude. It's a sine function. It has a frequency and a phase and a bias. So what we're going to do, it's by default, its frequency is in radians per hertz seconds. I usually don't think in radians per second. I like to think in terms of hertz. So in this case, when I look at this, I have to multiply this 20 hertz signal by 2 pi in order to put it in the proper units called radians per second. So that's the signal. We'll just generate it, and we'll talk about the transmitter output. We're basically taking a signal gener ready and multiplying it with the carrier this is at 1 Hertz and this one's at 20 Hertz so this has a higher frequency than the message and the reason why you have a higher frequency so that antenna size are practical uh, because usually what you transmit uh, the size of the antenna is usually governed by the frequency of your message signal so we put that message signal on top of the carrier so that the size of the antenna is not prohibitively large. So for example, if voice signal is 3 kilohertz. If I had to transmit 3 kilohertz and all signals transmit at a speed of light, its wavelength would be around 100,000 meters. And that's about the size of the antenna if you want to capture this three kilohertz signal that's why we put it at a higher frequency such as an AM radio stations which goes from 500 or so kilohertz to 1600 kilohertz okay so let's just demonstrate this uh, message signal which could model that as a music and then this carrier wave models the frequency of your radio station so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run two cycles of the message signal so we should see a sine wave of two cycles and when I run the program so here's what MATLAB generated it generated our message signal given by two cycles since this was one Hertz and the duration of the simulation is two seconds we should see two cycles here we have a carrier signal and when we did that uh, we see that there was 20 cycles in one second so there should be a total of 40 cycles here and when we multiply this message by this sinusoidal signal we get this waveform where we see that our message is embedded right here as you follow the trace of this waveform what I'm doing right now okay so you could see that this carrier is basically sampling various points of this message signal. Now when we multiply these two signals this is the resulting waveform and this is what gets transmitted in the airways if we try to simulate this message with a real transmitter. So what we did with this carrier in essence is that we modulated one characteristic or attribute associated with this carrier. In this case we modulated the amplitude of the carrier 
according to how the message changes. We could also do it for frequency, but that will be done in a later video. So hopefully you get the idea that taking a message signal and a carrier signal, multiplying it, modulates the amplitude of this carrier. And that's how a basic AM transmitter works.